Hello world, welcome to the 41st video on my channel and the second video on my Raspberry Pi playlist. My channel is dedicated to building my own digital assistant named Shane, like Jarvis from the Iron Man movies and comics. In this video, we're going to go through the setup of a new Raspberry Pi 4 and some things I learned along the way. So as you could tell from the date stamp, this is January 2020. So if my uh, YouTube channel keeps going for the couple years, just make sure things update. And uh, But you should be good for all of 2020 for setting this up. But before we start, and if you're a beginner, I highly recommend knowing what your end goal or project is going to be, and then work backwards to develop objectives. So for example, my end goal of using the Raspberry Pi 4 is for Shane, my digital assistant, to help protect me with image recognition. So what I mean by to protect me is this little scene from, this is the end goal and this is super advanced, uh, but the end goal is from this Avengers Civil War scene where Iron Man and uh, Captain America are fighting. So let's check that out real quick. You can't beat him hand to hand. Analyze his fight pattern. Scanning. Measures ready. Let's keep his All right, so that's the uh, that's my end goal of using my Raspberry Pi 4. So let's go through the setup. So you just brought your new Raspberry Pi 4, it looks like this, and you want to set it up. Before you start though, before you even touch your Raspberry Pi 4, and in my first video of the playlist, we walk through it, you will need a micro SD card. So that looks like this. This is an adapter. So what you need and what I learned is I bought a 64 gig micro SD XC which is the current one, it's called XFAT, and it's super fast, but that is not compatible with the Raspberry Pi 4. So if you have an SD card and it's more than 32 gigabytes, you need to use what's called a free, um, well, it's free format, or FAT32 formatter. Okay, so run that program on your SD card and reformat it as FAT32. If not, and you're going to go to the store after watching my video, you need to get a 32 gigabyte SD card and uh, make sure it's FAT16 or FAT32. So I did not know that and it took me a couple minutes to figure that out. So now that you have your FAT32 formatted micro SD card, right? That's what it looks like. And if you... Uh, are running into problems and this is before you watch my video and it just has the red light on here only the red light not the green light it's probably because you didn't do your micro SD card right all right so before touching your Raspberry Pi card um, you'll need to go to this website on another laptop or desktop all right raspberrypi.org and then you'll need to click on downloads Let's make my face a little smaller. Then you go to Noobs. Yes, that's what's called new out-of-the-box software. So if you're advanced, you could do Raspbian, but we're going to stick with Noobs. You click here. And then what I recommend is opening this software setup guide. And it brings up everything that you need to know. So click here what you will need so you will need a the power supply which I talked about in my first video of why that's important you'll need this micro SD card please make sure that it has uh, 8 gigabytes or more but 32 gigabytes and if it's more you have to format it for fat 32 a keyboard and a mouse you'll need those it has to be wired at first and then you can use a Bluetooth 
some sort of computer TV screen. I hooked mine up to my uh, home 40 inch something TV through this HDMI. And if you watch my first video, you'll see that your Raspberry Pi 4 should have a um, micro SD or micro HDMI to HDMI cable. Looks like this. Lower me even more. All right. These are other options you have if you have a converter. So set up your SD card. Now this is the important part right here. So if you're going to download noobs, click on the box here. Download the zip. And then save it somewhere on your desktop. It's default for most Windows users is downloads. Then you have to format the SD card. So this format, SD formatter, works fine for Windows or Mac. So what you do is yours won't say this dash boot when you first start this and you put your SD card in your laptop. You have to type it here into volume label, boot. All right. This is what it looks like on Windows. So you click, you type in boot, and you have to make sure that yours is FAT32 formatted and then you click format right it's gonna format it and then like I said it's just your noobs folder is usually in the download section you have to extract it and then copy the files not the uh, not the noobs folder it should say noobs version something something so actually go into the folder copy these files into your SD card so it shows you what it looks like on Mac then you connect your Pi. So it will, I have Wi Fi at my house, most people do, so you don't need this. Uh, these are four USB ports right here, two and two. I plugged in my keyboard and mouse into these. I have no sound yet, no camera. I click, you have to put, if you're only using one monitor, you have to do this top one up here. I think it's HDMI 01. Your power supply goes here, and then the SD card goes underneath. So you insert this SD card, make sure it has the noobs, and make sure you have a FAT32 file. So uh, you connect the keyboard, you click. So the power is the very last thing. That's what this is telling you. After everything's plugged in, right, if you're going to do sound, to start your PS, your Pi is by plugging in the power. There's no power switch. You just plug in the power okay so you'll see this red light right here this is red light and then this will turn green if you don't say see a green and it just stays red that means the power supply works but you probably don't have the boot files in your SD card or your SD card is not compatible because it's not fat 32 formatted okay you'll see some screens like this it'll boot and it's pretty self-explanatory. This is the end screen right here. This is the uh, desktop, but it takes quite a bit for the Raspberry um, noobs or Raspbian to install. One place I got stuck is you'll go through these um, install. You'll see multiple things here. I saw a Raspbian, which is recommended. You click here, and then I didn't know what to do. I had an English. I changed mine to English US versus English UK. Um, it automatically detected my keyboard down here. I had to click this install button right here. I For some reason, it looked grayed out, but it wasn't. So thank you to imore.com for screenshotting these. I did not. This looks like some sort of picture of it, a screen grab. But press this install up here. That's how you do it, installing Raspbian. All right, so hopefully you get to this screen. And um, in it, while you're doing it, it'll ask you to set up the Wi-Fi. So this should be a Wi-Fi symbol here. It comes with a browser, a command prompt, file explorer, just like any other uh, computer. And um, depending on which version you downloaded, but if you just did noobs, it should have plenty of applications in here. So this is success right here. This uh, it looks like a Tibetan uh, landscape. All right, has its own little waste basket, which is a recycle bin. 
All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helps somebody. Um, in the comments below, let me know what project you're going to be using your Raspberry uh, with. Like I said, mine's going to be mainly image recognition, and it will take me a long time to get to that Iron Man video that you saw. So please consider subscribing to watch me try to work towards that. Like this video if you liked it. And uh, other than that, thanks. Goodbye, world.